Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Can you see me? Oh, you can see me now. Can you hear me? Yes, we're going to lock that door. <laughs> this guy <garbage>, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay, we'll put up the fan.
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, thank you for joining in. Um, more people are still trying to join in, and um, we'll give them five to ten minutes before we start. I uh, hope it's okay, and um, thank you for your patience. Uh, thank no you, problem. sir. Thank you, sir.
Good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, my name is Collins, and um, thank you for joining in. If you are just joining us now, we thank you for taking the time out. Um, for those that are here, we thank you for your patience. Some people are still having issues trying to log in, and we're trying to solve that. And once we are sure that we have everybody in, uh, we can start so that we don't have to go back and repeat for those who might join in you know, later on. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for joining in and for your patience. We'll start shortly. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for coming. It's great to have you here. Um, we are Afrimash, like we say, and it's great to, you know, be able to interact with all of you on this platform. Um, as more people join in, um, you know, we we'll welcome them and the training will carry on. And so um, we're going to start the training now. Um, this training is going to last for about an hour, 45 minutes, and um, we try to make it as exciting as possible, and we'll get to meet you and get to meet us and, you know, what AfriMash is all about, what the Agent Network program is all about, what we want to do with it, and all of that. So if you permit me, I will share my screen.
Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. So once again, good afternoon, everyone. My name is um, Colin Tukeke. I'm the programs lead for Affirmash Company Limited and your based startup. We're into um, agri-tech. Basically, our aim is to make agriculture convenient for everyone. And um, for today's training, for the Agent Network training, we're going to be having four key speakers. And of course, you have met me, Colin Tukeke, who is a program lead. Can you hear me, you said? Okay, everyone, um, please, can you mute yourself? And um, just some simple ground rules. If you need to speak, use the um, raise hand button on your window, and I will sit on my end, and I will call on you so that we don't, you know, have um, plenty of people talking at once. Great. And um, we'll also get to hear um, from our product manager, who also is the supervisor of our IT department, Samani Machine, who would be um, training us on the use of the mobile application. Then we have Mr. BC Adeyemi, who was our, our consultant on the agent network program and project. And lastly, we have um, Rutu Zere, who is the head of our people experience, our human resources, so as to speak. And she will take you on the core values and stop and um, values of the of Affirmash um, Company Limited. So the agenda for today, <clears throat> we'll have the welcome address and opening remarks, which I've just done. I uh, will give an introduction of what Affirmash does. Then the training on the agent network program will be done by the consultant, Mr. BC Adeyemi. Um, the training on the use of the agent mobile app will be taken by Mr. Sam. And our company culture and core values discourse will be taken by Ms. Ruth Nzere. This training is supposed to last for an hour, 45 minutes. So. This training is supposed to, okay. Olawale, you raised your hand. You can unmute yourself. You just raised your Good hand. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good good afternoon. afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry, it's a mistake, sir. I did. Okay. Okay, so... um. So this training is supposed to last one hour, 45 minutes. Now, this is Afrimash. What do we do? We try to connect farmers to inputs efficiently. Please, if you cannot hear me clearly, just use your hand button and we'll try to figure out um, what is the problem. Um, as Afrimash, we connect farmers to inputs efficiently. Now, why do we do this? Because our mission as, a, as an agri-tech firm with an e-commerce platform is to make agriculture convenient for everyone and give people easy access to enough good food today, tomorrow, and the future. Now, fundamentally, why is a question. We have, as we have 40 million farmers in Nigeria with difficulty of assessing farm inputs. Um, by farm inputs, we mean that things that are necessary for agricultural production to thrive, equipment like tractors, crops like seeds, um, livestock like deal chicks, vaccines, fertilizers, stem. And so these are all that is required for, you know, a farmer to have access to. Because if a farmer does not have access to some of these inputs, imagine a farmer that does not have access to fertilizers because he's in the interior part of Kaduna or in Kebi, and he needs to come down to Lagos to buy uh, maybe vaccines or fertilizers in Kaduna, why should he want to undertake this stressful journey 
when he can simply log on, you know, to a to an e-commerce site, click on what he wants and get access to it. And so that was the idea behind the creation of Afrimash, you know, so that 40 million farmers in Nigeria that have difficulty accessing farm inputs as a result of so many middlemen can easily, quickly, swiftly, and conveniently access farm inputs. Now, to achieve our aim as Afrimash, we have devised three structures, you know, which leads to our web platform. We have our inside sales team, we have the online sales, and we have the field agent. Now, this is this field agent is where we are mainly focusing for today. And as the training goes, you will see how this field agent um, category is bound to structure. The inside sales team, our, our, our in-house sales team at the back end, where when a customer orders for something, either via phone call, you know, or email or WhatsApp, they take it up, get what the customer wants and get our in-house logistics and delivery team to deliver directly to that farmer. Additionally, we have, an, we have the online sales where you can log on onto our site, afrimash.com. You register and you click whatever you want um, to purchase and it redirects you to a payment platform. Once you pay, it is confirmed on our back end and swiftly our um, in-house logistics and delivery team um, gets across your purchase to you. There, you might ask then, why do we need field agents? We understand that, you know, there are people in remote areas without access to internet for online sales, for them to, you know, go online, to do online um, purchasing, or who do not have, you know, credible access to be able to make calls or send, you know, WhatsApp because they're not conversant with it. The role of the field agent is to then go and meet these people who depend largely on too many middlemen to get their purchase to help them make their orders online and Afrimash delivers it swiftly, easily, conveniently from the comfort of their homes. The key metrics for Afrimash today as a company, in case anybody is wondering that, oh, I've not heard of Afrimash, are they genuine, you know? We have more than 500 verified vendors and suppliers of farm input on our platform. We have done more than 8,000 transactions and we have delivered more than 600,000 items to farmers across the 36 states of Nigeria. And in doing so, we have made 1.1 billion plus in sales. So that means that, you know, we are looking to expand these opportunities to many riches of Nigeria where, you know, farmers still find it difficult to have, you know, these farm inputs. Our aim, like we said in the beginning, which is part of our mission, is to make agriculture convenient for everyone. And in doing so, it is our goal to reach as many as possible in farm extensions, farm settlements that, you know, people would not normally go using the, our field agent uh, network program to reach these people and get their items delivered to them. So for instance, Shehu in a remote part of Kebi do not have to, um, depend on a retailer in Kebi town who then depends on a bus driver that will go to um, Kaduna town and then meet with a, a seller there, get the vaccine. The whole time processes between all those things is why the agent network program is very, very vital because the more there are middle men that gets um, farm inputs to the farmer, the more the cost of agricultural production outputs is higher. This is one of the main reasons why people complain, oh, food prices are higher, food prices are higher. As with every business, food prices are higher is as a result of the fact that the food producers who are the farmer, having incurred so many costs in food production, will try to offset this cost on the consumer. So, and this is ensuring that agriculture is not convenient for everyone as food prices remain high. So one of the ways we have looked to surmount this is through the agent network project, which meets these farmers in their space and help them order the item and Afrimash Logistics Inc. delivers directly to them without the middleman. 
So today, the market size for agriculture is huge, right? We have about 16 million young farmers who are below the age of 49. We have about 24 million farmers who are dedicated to raising livestock, poultry, and fish. And together, they make up about 40 million small farm holders and about you know, 15 million in total farmers who are in need of you know, quality farm inputs conveniently. So we can see that the, the market is huge in terms of not just huge, that there is a lot to be gained from ensuring that 40 to 50 million farmers through the A2 Afrimashis Agent Network Program can easily and conveniently shop for whatever items that they require to make agriculture great. And the return on, on this thing is that the farmer is happy, there is less um, cost on his input, and as such, when the output comes out, there is also less cost on that, and everyone in Nigeria is happy because food prices are down as a result of an effective, cheaper, easier, convenient way to get agricultural inputs to farmers. And so our success definition as Afrimash is to ensure that for the farmers, they get quick and direct access to, to millions of farmers, that is for the agent network, right? And in terms of input, that access to millions of relevant agri input at the top of a button. So that button can be a phone, it can be uh, um, your tab, it can be on the internet. And of course, in terms of delivery, quick, safe, convenient, and affordable delivery options. And currently in our delivery system, we have partners with GIG Logistics, DHL, Max NG, and local bike men, you know, and bus drivers, you know, who are registered on our platform. And so if we need to deliver quickly to Anambra and possibly DHL and um, GID logistics, you know, at that point may not, may be having some logistics, we can quickly call one of our drivers up to say, oh, we need delivery to Anambra today or to Portacourt or to Kaduna. And when they get to Kaduna town, there are bike people that can, you know, take that um, um, input and deliver it quickly, faster to the very door of, you know, the farmer that has made that purchase. And so as Afrimash as a team, um, you get to meet us so that we don't look like, um, you know, an abstract, you know, um, people. And so what I'm just trying to do here is to introduce Afrimash to everyone to understand what we are currently doing and um, why we want to expand into the agent network um, programs. We have Dr. Ayo, who I believe is on this call. I think um, if he's, um, he will make a brief introduction of his, himself. Dr. Ayo um, Oyedotu, who is the co-founder and operations manager, is a doctor of veterinary medicine from the University of Ibadan. and he has seven years business operations and management. The idea of Afrimash was actually, you know, as a result of him, he started out as a farmer, you know, you know, farming and, you know, in livestock and poultry. And then he needed a vaccine for his farm and he found it difficult to get that vaccine. And unfortunately, many of his poultry um, and livestock, you know, the farm had to just go under. And so it got him thinking that if I, as a farmer can lose all of this, Imagine other small time farmers that cannot have access to simple um, um, farm inputs like vaccine. And so the idea of Afrimash was born, you know, to ensure that farmers, you know, when they're having challenges of, you know, maybe farm inputs, um, vaccines, fertilizers, they don't need to run, you know, to different places. At the top of a button, they just go online, they see what they want, or they request for it on the Afrimash platform and someone immediately gets back to them and you know, it's, it's delivered directly to them. That way, no farmer gets to lose his means or her means of um, livelihood. We also have Dr. Oladumi Oyedotu, who is also an executive director of Afrimash. We have Akin Oyedotu, who is the co-founder too and head of tech for Afrimash. As you can see, he has 10 years of um, software application development, USSD, he is one of our um, key IT figures, as you will learn later on, when, that have developed our um, agent mobile app that will be used by many of us here 
going forward to onboard farmers in various locations. Additionally, because as a company, you know, we, we, we do not just want, you know, because, you know, many things make startups fail, right? And so as a company, we have an advisory board that tells us, you know, um, what to do, when to do, how we should do these things so that the noble mission that we have to make agriculture convenient for everyone does not, you know, fall under. We have uh, Mr. Oluwole Odetayo, who is the CEO of Opakus Technology Lagos and also a managing partner in Lofty Incorporated. He has 10 years of experience in building tech businesses and is on our advisory board. We also have Yvonne Pinto, who is the MD of LN Impact UK, and she has more than 30 years of experience across agri and agri value chains around Africa. We have Mrs. Tenambe Anna, she's the CEO of NBC Africa Ghana, Chief Financial Officer of She Equity. She Equity provides equity funds for young female led startup, and she has 15 years in um, business consulting. We also have at this corner Trish Thomas, who is the CEO of Team USA. And she has more than 50 years of experience helping businesses to grow. So why we are showing this is that to let people understand that we are not just a one-time business that is just out to make money. We have credible, strong individuals who have attached their noble name to the Afrimash brand in order to advise us so that we can get to our desired end of making Afrimash um, convenient for everyone in Nigeria and Africa wide. Now, in terms of our internal um, heads, um, many of you will get to meet these people later on, but we just want to introduce um, the Afrimash heads of department to everyone so that you know that Afrimash is an organization that already has a structure. We have Dr. Charles Nwishenyi, who is also a doctor of veterinary medicine. He's the acting head of operations and head of our partner experience. By partner experience, we mean that um, we as AfriMash, like we said, we have onboarded about, you know, five to 700 vendors. It is his department that ensures that quality vendors and sellers of farm inputs are verified before they come on AfriMash brand. Because, you know, one of our values is integrity. So we don't want a situation whereby a farmer buys a tractor from us and it breaks down after two days. So this is, it is he and his departmental and his department and team members that ensures that all suppliers of farm inputs on our platform are verified and onboarded. We have Dr. Blessing Jagaden, who is also the head of insights and corporate sales. Many of us here who are going to be um, BDAs, LAs, and agent network manager will be working a lot with her. We also have Abdul Ghaffar Suleiman, who is the head of logistics, sales, and operations. His department is all in charge of ensuring that all at the back end, all sales made on our web platform in terms of other sales and the delivery and logistics that it gets to the final um, farmer easily, swiftly, and conveniently. And of course, um, we have um, Route Zero, who is the head of our people's experience, H human resources in other organizations, right? She ensures that you know all members of the AfriMatch team are working at optimum by ensuring that you know mentally emotionally physically that everything that everybody needs to thrive at african match works of course this is me um i'm the head of the programs department finance and admin for african match and this is sam so that you can see his face he'll be taking us on he's the team lead for tech experience at african match and he'll be taking us on um the training on the usage of the agent mobile app. And of course, this is Mr. De, uh, De Damola Adeyem, who is also the team lead for marketing. And a lot of us will also be dealing with him here. And basically, this is if some of the Afrimash team. Um, when you come in, you'll see a lot of happy faces where we are a tribe where everyone's problem 
one person's problem is everybody's problem and no one is more knowledgeable than all of us at this point and so um, this is us in a nutshell we call ourselves um, you know marshals you know because i mean we are if if you are um if you are conversant with army structure right you know you know the marshal is the highest rank in the army and so we are marshals because we are at the very top of what we do each people in different departments and you can see a lot of smiling faces here that despite the fact that you know it's an agri-tech company everybody is happy to be here and fulfilling their potential and so the same thing too for some of us here or all of us here that will join the agent network program you are joining a tribe of happy people who are at the top of their game and so we'll leave you with these quotes you know og mandino says let others build a cave with their clay i will build a castle with mine so we look forward and we ask you to join the dream of making agriculture convenient for farmers and for everyone across Nigeria and Africa wide. And we look forward to a wonderful time. So um, for the next five minutes, if you have um, questions, um, we will take them, observations, we'll take them, and then before we move to the next um, segment of the training. Okay, uh, I can see your hand up. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to ask um, concerning the, like in um, Sokoto. For I can hear you clearly. I said like in Sokoto, for instance, Sokoto. You said? I said, I'm asking concerning the yes. bike bed for the delivery. Do we have um, some of them in Sokoto here too? Okay. Because I don't think I've ever come across any of them. So, for instance. Okay, so the thing is, you know, for some of these um, bike men, it's not necessary you see them wearing an Afrimash t-shirt, right? Can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. I can hear you, sir. Yeah. I can hear you, sir. So it's not necessarily you might, you might not see them wearing, you know, the Afrima shirt because they are what we call third party agents. So basically what we do is to find um, um, a group of people in each location that has an agreement with us. And so when a delivery um, comes into Kaduna, it's a simple matter of calling them up that, oh, go to so -so -so place, pick up the item and, item and have it delivered to, you know, this place. But in terms of Sokoto, we are having um, an agent network manager who is going to be handling um, some of these um, things. And uh, in, the, in, in future, if you have any issues with, you know, deliveries and stuff like that, the agent network manager will be the one to, you know, handle all of those things. Um, Mula, Mula, sorry if I mispronounce your name, I'm so sorry. Mulalaka Vascal, I saw your hand up, please. You can go ahead. Hello, Mr. Vascal, can you hear me? Okay. Um, if Mr. Vascal is not, um, around uh, Mr. Konji Adekunle, we can have you, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Mr. Konji, can you hear me? Okay, can you, okay. Please go ahead, please. I can't hear you.
Mr. Conji, if you can hear me, you are on mute. Can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Okay, um, Mr. Vascal, okay, you can go ahead. I can hear you now. Uh, you can hear me now. I'm right here. Hello. 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 Mr. Vascal, you said? Uh, no, what I was saying. I think the internet connection from your end. Okay, it's clear now. I'm clear. Is it possible? Is there any means of my question? Okay, Mr. Vascal, I can't hear you clearly, but um, you know what we'll do? Um, because of time, you can put the, your question in the chat and I would respond to it. And So thank you so much, everyone, for listening in. Um, if you have any question, and maybe you are having bad internet issues, please just put them in the chat box. We have we on the back end, we can see them and we will respond to them as quickly as possible. I would like to say thank you and welcome you again. And um, we'll move to the next part of the training, which is you know what the agent network um, program is all about. Thank you. Oh, just a brief, just a bit of introduction. Our next speaker um, is uh, Mr. B.C. Our next speaker is Mr. B.C. Adeyemi, and he's our consultant on the Agent Network um, program, and he will be doing a presentation of the Agent Network program. Mr. BC, over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. All right. So I, I, I know I don't want you to I don't want you to respond so that we don't um, well, respond verbally. But if you can hear me, just type on your chat box. Yeah, whichever way you can write. Yeah, it can be Y A, it can be Y E, it can be Y A H. Whatever you can do. Let me just see that you are here and you are listening to me. Fantastic. Thank you, Jackson Farms. Thank you, Amidu Sulaimon. Thank you, Bafa Aruna. Thank you, Lua Busayo Pius. Yeah, thank you. Adebayo Shukwe. Okay, all right, that one has been there. Thank you, Ayodeji Fakude. Thank you, Ted. Andrew, thank you. Lawal, thank you. Olawali Fatai, thank you. I, I, two more, then I'll start. All right, thank you so much, Christopher Naji. All right, I need one more, then we start. I said two, then I need one more. All right, thank you, Shegu George. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, you won't be able to see my face. That picture was like exactly 10 years ago, so but I'm not that old. I'm still that very young. All right, just take that picture for now. Um, so my name is BC Adeyemi, like the... All right, so you started recording. My name is BC Adeyemi, like um, my guest said. Sorry, I like I like you to mute, mute your uh, mute your um, your Zoom. Um, I won't spend more than fifteen minutes. Why 
is this thing switching modes? I'm not hearing them. Man. I'm not hearing them. Just hold on a bit and please just try to mute yourself, please. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. So can we continue? All right. Thank you very much. As I was saying the other time that number one, we are here for four, four reasons. Number one reasons why we are here um, is because you are an agri person. That is number one reasons why you are here. You are doing something that has to do with agri or you are passionate about agri or you are passionate about the people that are in a Greek. In, in another word, you are an agropreneur. That is number one reason why you, you, are, you are here. Number two reason why, why you are here is because we want to help people all together. We want to help farmers all together. Number three reason why you are here is that um, who doesn't love extra cash? So you are here for extra cash. So if you are here for extra cash, I know some people are just here to help people. Sorry, can you hear me now, Kamaruddin Karim? All right, I think it's fine, but it's fine now. So if you love to hand extra cash, please type here on the chat box. All right, the number four reasons why you are here is you want to learn how to make that extra cash. So let's, 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 um, let's just move forward. So uh, what is an agent network? Well, I, I don't, it's not an exam, so you don't need a definition, but you see a guy in front of your house that is a POS. The guy has a Zenith Bank POS. The guy is not Zenith Bank. But that is not Zenith Bank office. Yet the guy is doing, is helping you out what Zenith Bank should have done for you. So that guy is an agent. So you have an idea of what an agent is. So um, an agent network is an established distribution network that connects the consumers with the producers. So, so another, another thing I want to talk about is that um, why are we even talking about this agent network? Why? Um, we had that Afrimash has served people. Basically, 80% or more than 80% of the people that Afrimash served, they ordered online. They ordered, they used, they went online to, their, to, to, to our platform and ordered one thing or the other. And those things got delivered to them. Do you understand now? So um, that means if we limit people that are benefiting from Afrimash from that platform alone, we will only have people that, are, that can only go online and order. Can you hear me? That means that people that cannot go online or people that do not like to go online, and I'm not talking about education or not because there are uneducated people that are familiar with online territory. Yet there are educated people that they don't like to order. Hmm? So, but why are we doing this? So we're now saying, okay, what if we breach the gap that even that farmer that doesn't, that doesn't even know if, if there's anything like an online or e-commerce platform, 
what if you have someone that can help that person to, to order something and the goods will be delivered to that farmer? Hello, sorry, I've been I've been muted. I don't know. I've been muted. I didn't know I was muted. So and I talked for like for like three or four minutes. So let me just um let me um go back and see if I can say the things that I said that you didn't hear. First thing that I said, I said that um, I used an illustration of Zenith Bank. I don't know if you have that. Zenith Bank and the guy that is using POS. The guy that is using POS is not a Zenith Bank staff. Yet the POS stand is not a Zenith Bank office. Yet I, I know of Zenith Bank. That's why I'm mentioning Zenith Bank. There are some transactions now that you don't need to go into a Zenith Bank branch to do that the guy will do for you. Now there are some level of agents that can that can open savings account for you, that you can check some things that, some things that you go to Zenith Bank to do as far as probably customer service complaints are concerned, they can undo not everything, yet they can handle some things. So that is one of the reasons why we're starting this thing. Number two, we said, I said that people that, 80% of people that have been coming to our platform at Afrimash are people that can, that are comfortable with, people that are comfortable with, um, they are comfortable with online, going online to order. Mm -hmm. And I know that it is not about education alone. Um, sorry, if you, if you raise up your hand the other time and, uh, probably you've been answered. Can you just lower your hand? So I know that um, I know that it's not a fresh request. So I can know it when I have a fresh request. Uh, um, Remila, while your hand is, your hand is up. Um, who has? Uh, Pascal, your hand is up. Um, Galaxy, your hand is up. So, so I don't know. Um, Samuel Moses, your hand is up. So I just want to know when I have a fresh request. Let me to just lower your hand. All right. So and I used an example of I used an example of that, but it is not about education or not. Like I said, um, people that are educated they go online. People that are not educated they go online. But we want to make sure that even people that don't even know what internet is can through you order and the input will be delivered to them, the person will enjoy the, 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 the benefits that other people have been enjoying, and you, as an agent, you go home with extra cash. So, so let's just go into it. So, and I said that there are six parties in this network system. Number one, there is Afrimash. Number two, there is 
someone that you'll be working directly with is called the agent network manager. Number three, you have the lead agent. Number four, you have the business development agent. Then number five, you have the customer that you'll be dealing with as an agent or a farmer that you are dealing with as an agent. Then you have the order fulfillment team. What do we mean by order fulfillment team? Okay, as Afrimash is now, if you place, if you make, if you make, um, you, you make a request or you order for an input, the inputs will be welcomed and processed by this team. It is called the order fulfillment team. All right, so much of two range, right? All right, so let me go through it again. Uh, Afrimash, the ANM, the lead agent, the BDA, the customer, and the order fulfillment a um, fulfillment team. All right, so where do you fall into? You yourself, as you're listening to me, you fall into two, two these two categories. You well, Number one, you fall into the category of an agent. So you are an agent. However, we have two types of agents. All right, it is getting, we are getting deeper into it now. So now you begin, now you need to listen um, more than you've ever listened now because it is get so even though we are going to answer your questions but it is better you get it the first time all right so we have two types of agents we have the senior agent or we have the higher agent we have the lower agent we have the higher agent we have the, calling them the lower agent does not mean that the lower agent is less important than the higher agent the higher agent is called the lead agent. The smaller agent or the lower agent is called the business development agent. All right. So what is the difference between the two? Um, the difference between the two is that um, we have the business, we have the lead agent. The lead agents are people or businesses that have established a Greek related businesses. The lead, let me repeat myself. The lead agents are the agents that are already established businesses in a Greek. And what, what, how do we measure the established? The word, the, the, the active word here is the established. How do we measure it? Number one, it is a registered business. Number two, it has a verifiable location. So that means I can say now I'm at Taiwo Road, number 57, Taiwo Road, Iloni, or number 28, Gerialimi, Sokoto, something like that. And it is number 28. And I can see it is a shop. Then you are getting qualified, but that's not everything. Number two, you are, you are, you are, you are, how do we, how do, how do we say it in Nigeria? You are registered. Number three, you have an account with your business name in the bank. And uh, you have a space we can, we said number one, you have an address, registered an account, and you are already doing the business. All right. Then another thing, so, so that, is, that is what qualifies you to be a lead agent. However, however, we are now saying that so what are people that, that don't have that thing, but yet they have access to other people or they have access to farmers or they have access to people that can become agents? Let me give you an example. If you are an head of a cooperative that has farmers in it, you are an LA. So we have two types of LA now. We have an LA that is a business, yet we have that is a business registered with an established place. Then we have an LA or another type of LA that it is, so that person is a position to influence other farmers. All right, so let's now go to the BDA. All right, another, another thing that we said about the LA is that an LA should be able to manage 50 lower agents. 
and Hello should be able to manage 50 lower agents. That means that lower agent, that means that a, an LA, that's the lead agent, should be able to manage 50 BDAs. All right. So who now is a BDA? The BDA is a lower agent, but by no means not the least person in the network. Interestingly, listen to my word, they are the most important person in the network. Why? Because they are the persons that interface with the farmers. So when I mean interface with the farmer, yes, it means that probably you are in a farm settlement or you yourself, you're a farmer yourself, but in a way you have access to farmers. At least, at least you have access to 50 farmers. At least you have access to 50 for at least. So the so 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 what are the responsibilities of I'll, I'll come to the responsibility of the lead agent and the BDA now? Um let me see if I have a request now. Okay, somebody is leaving a chat for me. Okay, please tell us our duties as agents to Afrimash. Thank you so much, Ogashe Gunjoj. I will go to your duties now as the, so your responsibilities now as, um, as, as the agent. All right, so, but let me tell you a respons responsibility of someone, one particular person that you will, so, so let me just tell you your responsibilities now. Agents satisfy the, the, the main client, the, the small orders request, the, farm, the farmer's request. That's what it means. Number two, agents, you will recruit and register farmers on your digital platforms. You have a digital platform and collect the information of their needs in terms of services and products. Data collected, you feed, you, you put the data in your hub. So after this session, the next thing, after this training, the next thing is for us to make sure that you have that app on your phone. So instead of now, so you could have a physical shop, but there are two shops that we are dealing with here now. The app, which is very, very important. All right. Agents also literally you you do um, what I call customer service. You troubleshoot for customers, but your main responsibility. Hmm, let me put let me put them let me put two responsibilities now. Number one responsibility is that you talk to farmers. You register them online. Number two, you help them to make order. Then I can now add another one. You help you make sure that the what they order for, which you can track from your hub, is delivered to them. And let me tell you something. Um, 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 so let me tell you something before we get there. Afrimash has an insurance, an, an, an insurance or money back policy. If whatever you order for does not get to you, number one, or gets spoiled on the road, or it, it doesn't get to you, the person will be paid back 100%. So this guarantees that you are not, you are not, you are not, you are not just giving you that confidence that whatever you order for your customer, we get to them. All right. So. Somebody said I should tell them the responsibilities now. One of the responsibilities is that you aggregate on board and train your, 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 your farmers. Do you are not, not really trained like we are doing training for you now. Uh, this is literally two things that they need to know. One of the things that we would let you have is that we'll give you a manual so that the manual can guide you in, in, so to know what to do per time. So you onboard and provide support for your for, for the farmers. Um, so so that is that is I just don't want to <laughs> I don't want to go into the details so that we don't uh, you will still have 
the training manual. So for the lead agent, for the lead agent, the lead agent, so the lead agent can directly onboard farmers on his app. But one of the, the, risk, the difference between lead agents and the smaller agents is that the lead agent has other smaller agents under them. That means, for example, if you are a lead agent, you should have 50, I'm saying that at least 50 BDAs under you that when they, when those, when, so, so in that network, in that network, whatever they do, the BDAs under you do, you can monitor from your hub. There is a way you can monitor. All right. So, so let me now go to the profile of, um, of a BDA. Um, well, for you to be here, I don't want to want this. I don't want to even say that you are at early because we still come to that because there are some. As for you to be here to be in agri business and to have worked one one way or the other with Afrimash, that means you are qualified to be a BDA. Then, but, but what qualifies you? I want to go to this. What qualifies you to be an LA? That is that is the only the lower agent you are qualified to be the lower agent to start with. But what qualifies you to go higher? Number one, you have access to these B, to BDAs. Number two, you have proof of address, proof of identity that you are. Your, your, your business has a bank account and you are, you've run it for some time, at least six months. All right. So this is how the operation looks. This is how the operation looks. You will be working with the a So a &M is on top, comes down to the LA, then comes down to the BDA. a &M, LA, BDA. Just, just, just go to the, just, just continue to go. All right, all right, all right. This is, this is actually the slide. So you can just check your slide now. Check your slide now. Just, I didn't want to use the slide, so I don't, I don't waste, because some of these things you still have. Um, I just want to go into. So this is the normal hierarchy. The BDAs report to an LA. An LA reports to HNM. But here is the trick. Just keep looking at the, at the organogram. It's a straightforward organogram. It, there are cases where we have BDAs. Like you now, if you decide to be, to join this network, which I know you've decided, and you don't have an LA, we will try to probably hear you with an LA but in the meantime, if, it, if you've not paired you, we've not found an LA for you, you can directly relate to an a and that, that is that, that you're under. So that means you, as you had now, Ogashego, Ogavoska, I'm trying to go check the names now. Let me check the name. Um, Oga Azim, Oga Pufal, Oga Bashir, Oga Amidu, Jackson, um, Olubu Sayo, um, Osibwe, Ogashego, Ogataiwe Ibrahim. All of you now, as you are here, the person that you'll be relating to is the ANM for now. But if you qualify to be the LA, yet you can go to be the LA. How? So another another thing I want to say about this organogram. So I can just go back to page um, to the to the to the one before. That's that's one. At 30. Sorry, go to 30. Um, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. As you're looking at this, so somebody's asking, Okabusi, is it that I cannot, as an early, if I become an early, I cannot directly interface with the farmers? No, you can directly interface with the farmer. It's nothing is stopping you from interfacing with the farmer. So if a farmer comes directly with you, fine. Or if you see a farmer, you can, do you understand? So it doesn't mean because I'm an LA, I manage BDAs, then 
I don't, I don't need to know, no, 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 no. And doesn't mean because I'm a, I'm a BD, I don't have an NA, I cannot interact with the AM. So I want that to be clear. And this is the way it works. Hmm? I, I will get there, but let me just preempt myself because uh, one of the things we promised you a one hour for the five minutes, and I want to quickly just rush up now so that um, um, we don't waste your time. So if you are an LA and you have a PTA, when you, as an LA, when you register, when, if, if I'm an LA and I register Ogashego now as a BDA, as I'm registering Ogashego, Ogashego has a special number because you see, uh, some people are beginning to have doubts in their mind. I know we know how Nigerian works now. Uh, I register a BDA or I register a farmer. That farmer goes behind me and comes to Half Marsh and uh, and make makes purchases, then I'm not I'm not I'm not able to make something of that farmer, my own commission, or I'm an LA now, and that BDA knows that whatever because whatever we make as profits is shared between LA and BDA. So uh, and the BDA comes behind my back. No, no, no. You see, we have all of these things factored out. If I'm an LA, when I register today. I will have a special number. And my BDA, if I register a BDA2, that BDA2 has a special number. And that number is linked together. The, even if that BDA decides to go behind the LA back, it just decides to go behind the LA back, the LA will still be, the LA will still get something. But that does not mean that LA will be lazy. That LA will not say, because I have gotten an LA, I've gotten a BDA. I will go and sleep. No, there's a way we'll come to that. There's a way we monitor that. But as a BDA or as an LA, I've registered farmers on my platform and those farmers are not coming to me to make orders. Now they know that there's one company that you are making all that form. Let me tell you, if they come behind you, and we know if they come behind you, their numbers are already linked to you. They still make something. You, sorry, you still make something from, from, their, from their purchases. So we can go ahead now. So I see a question here. So what does AHNM mean? All right. So let me thank you very much. AHNM means Agent Network Manager. So, so one of the things that we didn't explain to you is that, like you now, Oga Andrew, you are not our staff. Our, so the only the, the one person that is our staff, or one of the, the agent network is our staff at Afrimash. So for, let's say for Southwest. Okay, sorry, I've been muted again, sorry. All right, all right. Okay, I'm back now, all right. So, um, okay, all right. All right, I'm back now. So, like I said, okay, so, so what we have on this, on what's it called now? Is just all right. Okay, can you hear me now? All right. Okay, I'm. I'm I don't know what's. All right. So the A and M is agent network manager. So for all your states, for people in all your states, Ocean states, Lagos, all your states, Lagos, or the um, Kwara states, probably on those states. 
a kitty state, they so there's someone that they work with that is an Afrimash staff. He is the agent network manager. One of his responsibilities is to ensure that you have a proper training. One of his responsibilities is to ensure that you are well coached. One of his responsibilities is to make sure that whatever order that you have is fulfilled. So if you have any problem, who come? You get them? If you have any problem, all right, can you hear me now? All right, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I hear me now. All right. So let me check again. Okay, it's okay, they said he can. So if we, all right, no sound. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right. So one of the responsibility of the ANM is to make sure that whatever you are doing, you get it. So ANM, so if so even so, you know, so now when Oga, when they showed you the pictures of everybody at Afrimash. They are like, ah, who do we talk to? They say one is Dr. Charles. They say one is uh, Root. They say one is... Uh... Uh... All right, sorry. At this time around, a call came in and disrupted my this particular. So I had to cut it. So what I'm saying now is that. All right, thank you very much, Ogashego. So you are seeing all of them say, "Who do we talk to?" The ANM is your guy. So uh, in the course, perhaps, so so we we'll, we we'll introduce you to your ANM. By the time we we by the time you are done with your registration is is your guy so even if you don't whatever even if you don't understand anything that i'm saying now he will come back and tell you but I'm, I'm not saying that you should not understand so we can go so 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 we can go ahead with the slide so let's just just move forward to the all right um so let's talk let's let's look at um operations how afrimash uh i just I, i'm looking at what i've not said so i don't um so like I said, the HNM is the head of the agent in the region and every agent in his jurisdiction is accountable to him. They take new orders, new farm, farmers registrations, new early registrations, new BD registrations, and every other thing, whatever you need to sort out with him is your guy. Next thing, I want to talk about how the Afrimash agent network operates. So you look, you've seen the flow. Then let's now look at the transactions and payment method. All right. Let's look at transaction and payment method. The first thing that you need to do if you are interested in this journey is to get the hub. Um, well, I, I don't know, I don't know what level you are coming from now, but if you fulfill, but I know, but I know for you to be here, you are qualified to be the, to be a BDA. Then the next thing is that by the time you have the hub you can see whatever you see on our whatever you see on our website you see on that app so the mode of payment available to farmers is that we want to make sure that you pay through the app um the, the um, um Augusta will come and tell us how that will be done but we want to make sure that we want to re there's nothing like cash transactions so one of the system that we are operating on the app is that we operate a wallet transaction that you as an agent, you can have a wallet, your customer can have a wallet on your app. It's not that big, so, so, so you, can have, you, can have an, you can have a wallet on your app. Even though, if your customer has a cash, has, sorry, has cash with him, and he wants to buy something, which can be most things that you'll be facing, it's your responsibility to help him to make sure that there is a way that so we have a way to make we have a way that that cash can be in a liquid form 
and I want to say, I want to tell us that there will be no credit system. We don't do credit system. Payment, we validate order. And we've told you that even if you make an order and something happens to you, the goods ordered in transit, the money will be paid back. So someone is saying that now I have, I make, what if I, I pay more money into the wallet? Excess deposits in the wallet can be transferred into the customer's account number or used for future transactions. Others are made by agent on behalf of the farmers via the hub after the amount of good has been deposited in the account. So when, when you make an order, the farmer that you are making an order for, we get an alert. You too, you will get an alert. So somebody is not asking, in case of incorrect product or size ordered, we could do a refund if you make it, do you understand? Or we could call back from the back end, your AM will help you to solve that. And uh, if the money comes, so 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 if in the for the for the customer's wallet, there's a way that you can transfer from the wallet of the app. In there's a way that you can transfer from the wallet of the app to your bank account. So that is not all, all of those things have been factored. Hey, sorry, I'm actually taking more time. All right. So this is like FAQs now. Okay, let me just let me just. Let me just let me just let me just keep that and just go. Then somebody is asking. So if I make an order, where will be where where will the goods that I order for where will it be delivered to? We have a logistic um 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 policy. Let me put it that way. We call it last mile. We deliver to the last address. So. The, it is the address that you put in the in in the hub that we we so 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 Oga Collins had actually tried to uh, talk about how we are able to how we are able to do our logistics. So we make sure we we make sure that it gets to the address that you put in it. So in case it doesn't get there. So, because one of the responsibilities of the IR agent, you know, you know, somebody is asking that. So, so they are saying that for me to be an LA, I need to have a shop verifiable. One of one of it is that we want to make sure that we can use your location as drop off in case that in case your BDAs, even your customers, don't have a uh, don't have a concrete address. We are those things can be delivered to. So, so one of the ways to ensure that the customers receive their deliveries in good condition is to use last mile delivery. The goods will also be packaged in such a way that we ensure that the, the security of the goods and the goods will get there in good condition. So, and um, uh, so we have some we have some um, FAQs which we would. Um, which, which we will cover when you have this manual. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, you can just let me know. And uh, one of the things that we've, we've, we've done really is to make sure that we've already, we, we try to make sure that fraud is prevented and fraud is controlled. Um, so that the farmers that you are dealing with, they have the rest of mind. And we'd make sure that even the you yourself, you have rest of mind. If you are dealing with an LA or you are dealing with AM or you are dealing with Afrimash. Um, so I'm actually skipping a lot of things here. <laughs> so let's not talk about money. Somebody say, let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. One thing that we've done to make sure that this network is fear is motivating is cheat proof and it is clear and direct is that we've been able to work on the structure in such a way that it is fair to everybody um let me quickly talk about the commission structure um for every product that you sell as a bda 
or it's not not sin hmm, that you order for your customer or for your farmer which is a, which is actually another word for sell or se selling you would get a commission and let me even tell you something that let me say this thing there's what we call a sign up reward For you to become an agent, we have a reward for you. Immediately you sign up like this, there's a reward, there's a cash reward. Eh? Even though that car, particular cash may not be able to, may not be able to buy you a car, but that reward can subscribe for DSTV for you. However, immediately you sign, you sign, you get signed up. You will see that, you will see that cash reward in your wallet. However, you may not be able to access that, 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 that reward until you, until you, until your, your customer makes, or you make, you make the first order, successful order on the hub. I just, I just want to say that. Um, okay, I think, I think I want to stop here because so that, so that how to use the hub and other things that's other, so we can now have time for questions. But however, um, we would make sure that you get this manual so that we don't um, take time. So thank you very much. Um, I think I'll go to Oga Collins. All right, thank you, Mr. BC. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for um, Mr. BC is a factual idea or ideas on you know what um, the agent network program is all about. Um, you know, in his discussions, he mentioned about you know the mobile app that we use in terms of ordering. And please, at this point, I want to say that for everybody that has questions under the chat, we are looking at them and we will respond to them one after the other. Um, we have three hands up. Uh, I don't know if they are urgent question or we should move over to the next training. Mr. Mohammed Ibrahim, can we have you quickly? Okay. So I would like to introduce um, Samson, who is the head of our IT department and product manager, and he's going to be, you know, discussing on the use of the um, mobile app. Sam. All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sam, and I'll take taking us through um, the, I'll take us through how to use the agent app. So um, let's give my screen a little while to go So while it's doing that, I have a short size break of us. So um, who else wants to answer? It's a short and very simple, I'm sure we're very familiar with it. Who else wants to answer? Just raise your hand and I'm calling to call you. So there's just one word in the English dictionary that is spelled incorrectly. What word is it? Yeah, let's make it short. I think it's very simple. So let's just um, let's think about it and let's answer yes. So there's one word in the English dictionary that is spelled incorrectly. What word is it? Okay, I think I'll just uh, move on at them. Maybe after this session, we can answer this question. So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sam, and um, this is the training on the agent application for the agent network project. So um, what I'm talking about in this app will be the features of the application, as well as um, 
the ideations that, that came in play when building the application. Then where can you find the application? Where can you now come and post the application and where we can go? So um, this, when you, after downloading the application and then opening up, this is the first thing you face. You're asked to sign into your account. If you notice, you're not asked to log to so sign up to your account, you're asked to sign in. And that's because people, just um, the average user will not, be able to, will not be able to sign up from the application itself. You have to have gone through our basic process, then we create um, login details for you, send to your Gmail, then use that, then use those details to log into your application and they confirm PTA personnel. So yeah, so yeah, you sign in, enter in your username, your email, yeah, as well as your password, then I also click on remember me and then log in. So after you log in, this is what you see, dashboard. So you have on your dashboard, you can see the top orders for the for an entire month. You'll be this is not a method, it's coming soon. So you show the total orders for that month, say month of February. See if that orders are in interest, they were successfully able to make in that month in public value, as well as others completed and then start earnings for the month. So, so that's what's from the dashboard. So um, also on that dashboard screen, you have your shop. As you want to go to shop and start shopping for customers, you have all the customers that you registered, as well as all the customers that are on the event sort of um, platform, as well as all the orders that you made, yeah. And then your wallet. So I'll be talking about all of these processes shortly. All right. So the first is um the marketplace for the shop. So under the marketplace, you have a list of all the products that we have in our platform, like my boss, Mr. Bishop, I said earlier. You have a list of all the products on the platform on this page. You can also search for these products or with this filter button here, with this um, menu button here, you can click it and then soft through category by category to find what the license you're looking for. In case you don't need the name, but you know it's an equipment you're looking for or it's a um or a a vaccine or somebody that you're looking for, you can shop through but category by category to get what it is that you want to get, what is that you want to shop. So okay. So the next is the um wallet. So for wallets you'll be having your wallet account number. I'll explain this shortly. I think I should open that up. So this wallet account number is a way for agents as well as customers to fund their wallet on the platform. So you all have, as an agent and a customer that is registered on this platform, you all get a text message that sends to you to with your virtual, with your dedicated virtual account number. That account number can also be displayed, can also be seen on your mobile application, on your account on mobile application. On your account in the mobile application rather. So this is your wallet account number. So if you want to fund your wallet, you can go deposit, say, on your account number, it's this account number that I've blocked out here for some reason. Then it's going to display here in your wallet balance. So from your wallet, you can carry out other actions like um, transfer to bank. This is if you want to withdraw to your bank account, or you want to transfer to the customer or to an agent. You can perform, perform it, um, these actions. Now on this same screen, you have the entire wallet history. So you can see your earnings, your commissions on products that you, that you purchase for customers to reflect here. Any withdrawal you made will reflect here. Any transactions that you made on the mobile application will actually reflect in your wallet history. Here. Okay, and this is your profile. So in your profile, you'll see your name, your first, your last name, your number, your number, etc. And then you can edit your profile, you can change your password, you can also add delivery addresses. You can also add user addresses if you want to. So, um, then customer. So, under the customer tab from that dashboard, you find a list of all the registered customers that you have on the platform, as well as all the kind of search for customers that you do register for. This is in case, um, for example, a BTA leaves the entire debate of system. So, all the customers that are under that BTA will still be accessible by every other BTA in the, on the platform. So in case BG is new, your customers will still be accessible by you that you are still on the platform. So it shouldn't be like, oh, this guy has gone, he has not his customers, and then there's nobody to serve his customers. So that is one of the features that, um, that this mobile app offers for for all. And of course, this plus button is to create customers. Just that point is to create customers. We'll go to that version. Then, um, okay, so let me just put it through the typical buying process of mobile app. So the first step is 
you you are on the marketplace, this is the marketplace. People you tap on the product itself, you open up the product for it to build details. So on this page here, yeah, you see the price, you see the details of the product, see the pictures. If it has not seen pictures, you can scroll through the pictures. And of course, you see the information about the products from the descriptions, the specifications, to um, to attributes, stuff like that. So sorry about that. Um, so now the next thing is if you tap on buy buy now button, you can go to buy now button. So it actually opens up pop up buy now screen. So you can either buy directly from here, or if you want to find out more about the product, you can log in, you can tap on the product and just open up more details about that product. So let's okay. So now let's say the first um the first part, the first flow. We are on the product screen. We have support to action, safety buttons. We have the buy now button for add to cart. So I can choose to add. I can choose to add silver products to my cart if I want to, and I can choose to buy now directly from that product page. So once I click on buy now, it opens up the buy now, the buy now pop up. Once I click on add to cart, this is one here, so one one matches. It opens up the add to cart pop up page. So I can now enter. I can now enter the, um, the figure I want to buy here, and then click on add to cart, and that's my cart. So let's just go to add to cart. So these are all the products I have in my cart. If I can select multiple products and then add them and then check out those multiple products. This is very useful because sometimes you might meet a customer now or a farmer and he's interested in this product, but he can't really buy that purchase that product right now. So what you have to do is just add that product to your cart so that when you see the farmer, you can easily access that product. You have to go searching for the product again or whatnot. So that's one of the advantages of articles. And then you can also select the other products you want to check out. If the farmer wants to buy multiple items also at once, no problem. Add all the items to your cart, come to your cart, select all the items you want to check out for that product, for that um, farmer, and then you go to check out. So once you come to your checkout, you come to this page. We'll be back to this page very shortly. All right, now, so going back to the products page, if they click on buy now, remember that that's on this page, you click on cart. So now let's look on buy now. So on buy now, you enter the product you want to buy, you want to purchase, and then click on buy now. Now we need to the checkout page. This page you're seeing here, the checkout page. What happens on this page is you select this first page. You can see that there are four steps ways to go to this, 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 and then somewhere at the end. So the first step you want to do is select the customer that you want to buy this product for. I have searched for a customer named Sam, very nice name, and um, I've found three Sams here. All right, so for everybody that's in the end, sorry, just give me a minute, let me round up again, ask questions that person. Or you can drop your questions in the chat also, so I'll answer them right now. Thank you very much. So um, I'll search for the customer that wants to buy for, and then I'll start with that customer. Also, if the customer is not yet starting to start my phone, I can always come here and then create a new customer. What the type of trades? What does that type of create a new customer? You have this pop up here where you can create the customer right here on the checkout screen. So you don't necessarily have to have add customer registered before. You can always create a new customer from this one. Once you come to create customer, you have first name, last name, email, and then maybe where the customer is or something. So I'm um, sorry, can everybody hear me? All right. So let's go on to the next page. Next page. So now I have um, I'm on the checkout page. I've chosen the customer to buy for. Now I want to choose how I want to pay for that customer. I can either exactly decide to pay from the customer's wallet balance. And I can see here this is the customer from Samsung, and then this is the wallet balance. Pick out 286,000 This is the wallet balance of this customer. If I don't pay from the first customer, I can turn this drop down and also pay directly from my customer as an agent. I think I wonder why this feature. So now let's finish the scenario. For example, you as a DJ are missing a customer today. And then you sensitize customer about this entire process that you're on, and the customer can buy anything and everything from this platform. So how then 
and the customer then becomes ready to buy. So this customer is a new customer. This customer, you just pay the customer to that form. And then for the customers to fund their wallet, they have to go to either, they have to transfer some amount of money into that they put their account number to fund their wallet. That process might take a lot of time. But as a farmer, but as a BD, you might have had some money. You should always have some money in your wallet. That way you need to ready to buy customers. You don't have to have them transfer funds to their wallet first. You don't have to have them transfer wallets and funds to their wallet first. You can immediately buy, immediately and directly buy from your own accounts, from your own wallet as an agent. So that's one of the very good features of having multiple payments, what multiple payment options under this wallet space. So you have from customer's wallet or from your wallet as an agent. So that's one of the features that I look at really Then um the guy here we are So, hello, um, sorry, so I've read that, I've just been informed that um, a couple of us can't see any. There's an echo in the background. Um, um, okay, sorry, give me a minute, I swear to buy this, sorry. Sorry about this. So, um, hello everyone. So, for people that couldn't hear me or that can't hear me, please can you try to um, disconnect from the Zoom and then reconnect back to it? Because I've tried to um, have some sample here and there are, couple, there are just a few of us that can't hear us. So, please can you um, disconnect and then reconnect? So, I might also go back to, I'll just run through, I'll give you one minute to reconnect, do that. So now, I'll run through, um, through the, the buying process again, just shortly. So let me just sample out um, this person. Um, hello, Mr. Galaxy A02S. Can you hear me now? You can drop a chat for... Okay, I'm too fast. So, okay, I'll try to slow down my pace, Mr. Shegun. Mr. Adjo Joe Samuel Moses, can you hear me now? And can you still hear the echo? I'm waiting for feedback. Please just try to um, drop all the feedback on time so I can continue with this. Okay, it's better than before. All right, then let me, let me, let's go back to business. So buying process, like I said, for when you want to place an order for a customer, the first thing you have to do is you come to that marketplace. Then from the marketplace, there are two ways to go. Step one is tapping on the product itself to reveal the product image as well as other information about the product. Or you can see these buy now buttons that we have here. You can, Tap them and then it leads you directly to this place. Directly to the buy now screen. So let's continue. So now, if you had chosen the first option, which was to view the product details itself, on this screen, you'll be able to see the product image as well as um, product information, description, and other attributes that to do with that product. Then you have some buttons on the same page. First button there is add to cart. If you choose add to cart, it leads you directly to this pop up. Where you can add a number of items of that product to your cart. The second is buy now, that is also buy directly from that product. So um, from your cart, you can check out multiple items if you want to. 
these are three items here. So yeah, I was able to check out two, and then yeah, I'm down to um, checkout page. So I'll be back on checkout page very shortly. Now on this, um, if we are going with buy now button, so it's really directly to the checkout page. So now on this checkout page, you can see the list of all the customers that you have registered for, or you can search for any customer that is registered on the agent network and platform. So that way you can buy for your customers or for even any other customer you just find. So it doesn't have to be, there's no restriction on, on who you can buy for. So now I've chosen to buy for Samsung. And for, okay, now this is a screen that is showing what if my customer is not yet registered. Down here is a create customer button. So once I tap on this button, this screen pops up and I immediately create a customer on buy for, and then all my issues are solved. So now, the next is selecting the payment option I want to use for that customer's purchase. There are different kinds of payment methods. There are different kinds of payment methods, but there are two that we recommend, the customer wallet as well as the agent wallet. Customer's wallet is, I am buying directly from this customer's wallet. Look at this customer, Samsung. He has 386,600 in his wallet. So um, this customer has 396,600 naira in his wallet. So I might want to buy this customer. He's already asking for his wallet. Now I can also tap on this drop down. I can also tap on this drop down. I can also tap on this drop down and then select my wallet, agent wallet to pay from. So you might also ask why is this feature included on this platform? This is because. If, let's make the scenario now. The scenario is that you just make a customer today and you sensitize the customer about this entire process and the customer bought into it and wants to purchase from the platform. So the customer has to register. After the customer registers, the customer gets a um, dedicated account number for them to fund their wallet. But most of the time, seeing that our target demographic are farmers, they might not have that quick access to funding wallet or making transfers from the sports. So as an agent, you might want to go to the field always prepared by having some amount of money in your wallet. So once you meet a customer that wants to buy a product of let's say 50,000 Naira, and you have 200,000 Naira in your wallet, all you have to do is tell the customer that you accept cash, customer is going to give you cash, then on this process of paying for customers and purchase, you select agent's wallet, which is your wallet, and then pay directly from your wallet. So that way, you eradicate the long process of telling customers to go and fund their wallet, then coming back the next day or doing stuff. You just always make sure that whatever customer comes in within your grasp, you always, you always convert them as soon as possible. So that's one of the important um, the, the, the good side about this feature. So after selecting the, the um, wallet system you want to pay for, you save and next, press this button, save and next button. Then on this page, now select delivery items or delivery modes you want for each of these products. So these are the two products that I checked out. You have to select your address, where you're writing that you are, where you want to deliver some products. All these products that you're buying to deliver to you, and not the customer. So it's delivered to you, and then you want to write to the customers. So um, this is the first item, ship flipping machine. So once I start this job down process for ship flipping machine, it gives me the list of all the all the pickup options, all the sorry, delivery options I have for that item. So I select the one that I want. Most of the time, I also just select the cheapest. I'll try to save my customers. Um, sorry. So, um, yeah, I'm also select the, the cheapest, the cheapest, and um, Price for my customer, just so of course, again, the very good customer. Here. Then, um, afterwards, yeah, I come down to ship to my summary. So, I see my products, the quantity of my products, the price of the quantity of that products. I see everything here, I see the total sum, and then I can also edit my my address or payment method if I want to. But if I don't want to, I submit for that. So, maybe I submit this order, I get the pop up screen. Requesting for an OTP. This is the OTP that will come from your customer because he has to validate that that guy wants to pay, that guy wants to pay and buy this product from you. 
So once you provide it with that OTP, you can now go ahead and successfully close this order. So at the end, you remember there's an OTP confirmation that you'll be looking, looking out for from your customers. So once you place this order, the number that is registered to that customer's email would receive an OTP. That OTP would now um, you will now enter that OTP onto this onto the pop-up screen that will come here for your order to be successfully put. This is one of the security measures that have been deployed in the question of application. So that's for order survey. Just going to um wallet and then and then um, yeah, then carry out the wallet post. So yeah, so back to wallets. Like I said before, you have your dedicated um virtual number here. Yeah. Once you transfer out the amount of money in this virtual number, you reflect in your wallet. So now from your wallet, what can you do? You can transfer to bank, you can set to another customer or to an agent, and you can also see all of your wallet history. That is all your withdrawals, all your earnings, all your commissions from products that you make purchases for, all your transfers, whatever it is that you perform in your wallet. You see it under, under your wallet history. So now, for example, let's say we have selected to send to customer, to send to transfer money to customer. This, this screen is going to appear. Then we'll enter the amount you want to transfer, as well as the customer's name. You can search for any customer name there. Search for the customer's name, you need to it up, on it, and then, and then you can, and then you can um, send money to that customer. So this feature also comes and in the sense that some customers might want to fund their wallet, and they might not be able to go to banks or anything. So you just collect cash, like the same process of the order, collect cash, transfer the amount to their wallet, and then it's going to be They can now place order directly from their wallet. So you see that the complex orders now, there are two different methods, two different journeys that we have. So you can go with any. So um, let's go to the next. All right, so we draw our funds back to the bank now. So once I tap on, Okay, so this screen is not correct. I think all that. So once I tap on transfer to bank, I'll be able to see the bank. I will see a screen. If I have to, if I have to, sorry about that. So I will see a screen here where I can enter my bank details, the bank, the exact bank details I want to transfer money to, and the sum I want to transfer to. So this is the way that you draw your funds into your own bank account and in your app. So you can see that once you enter your money, you can always withdraw it and there's no, uh, no adverts anywhere. So um, with this, I've come to the end of this session. This is just an introduction into the um, use of mobile app. This slide will be made available to you guys, as well as subsequent videos, videos, video sessions on how to actually use mobile app, how to use, how to um, navigate yourself all through every process you have with mobile app. So that's, um, we'll make that available to you after the session, I think. So thank you very much, guys. So if you have questions, please be sure to drop them in the chat box. Let me go to the chat box now and start with your questions. So uh, let's start here. How will you oversee customers? How will oversee customers work on like some phone or person Uganda? Okay, I think I'll leave this for Collins to answer. That's how we talk. So due to systems. Yeah, the application wallet is right. I just showed this is here. So this is your wallet. So you can see everything I have. This is where you should have had this account. So this is everything I can see that uh my bank did I bring. So, um, Mr. Mr. Gadi, O2S. Yes. Yeah, how to register, how to be an agent. All of this will be discussed by, will be made known by calling the subsequent um, meetings that we have. So, don't worry about that. There are a couple of forms and um, application process you have to go through. So, we'll let you know about all of that very shortly. And, um, okay, I think those are all the questions I have for now. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Sam. Um, once again, um, it was a wonderful presentation.
it was a wonderful presentation and um, so far so good. We have seen, you know, what Afrimash is. We have heard about the agent network um, program from the consultants, and we have um, had, you know, what the mobile app does. So I will go through my chat and try to see. Um, Galazi AOT says, after telling us what it all entails and how it would work being an Afrimash agent, to round up everything, present it in a layman's language. This, that is how to be an agent. Okay, um, Galazi AOT2S is simple. Let me speak PG. You want to become agent, right? We have an application that we will send to you, right? Before now, we will send a, um, we will send um, small um, paper, make you feel, say, I want to be agent though. And then we will send you the link to register. Once you register to be agent on our platform, we for your for free match, we go come see them. When we see them, you will come get text message, say, you are now a confirmed Afrimash match agent. So with that mobile app now, any farmer will need any farm input. When you meet them, you say, ah, I want um, feeder, or I want vaccine, or I want fertilizer. You go open the mobile app, select within the farm I want. Then you go ask them whether my cash in one pay. If my cash in one pay, it go give you the cash. Then you go from your own account, transfer money, go the wallet for the app. Then you go now from that wallet, you go use pay for the item. Once you pay, confirm, say you don't pay for the item. We for after match for back end here, we go see them and we'll perform with the information what you don't provide. We go deliver to the farmer, simple as possible. I hope that answers your question, Mr. Galaxy A02. Then there is someone asking for access to the WhatsApp group page. Um, it will be sent shortly before why the next speaker is um, speaking. That is for uh, Mr. Gondon Victor. And then somebody asked that, you know, from Uganda, how can this work? The same way two people in Nigeria can, once you have access, once we send the, uh, the APK link to every one of us here, you will log on to it, <clears throat> register to be an agent, and Uganda, you know, may seem far. So what we try to do is <clears throat> to look for Ugandan vendors you know, that have um, those products that you have clicked on the Aftermath link and ensure that we get those vendors, we speak to them. It may take a slightly longer time than if it was in Nigeria, but of course, we are looking to upscale to other countries, right? And so we are not saying that it's not going to be possible, just that it may just take slight longer time because by the time you come on our platform and you order for an item and you're in Uganda, the farmer is in Uganda, it means that we have to look for the best vendors that we can verify in terms of quality and ensure that the farmer is able to get what he or she wants. Okay, I think um, Sam have answered for Infinite, for Babangida Ibrahim, he says, due to steps, we miss some, we need to see the application wallet picture. Um, not to worry, um, the manual for the, for the um, application training will be sent to everyone. Uh, how will overseas customers work on for some of us in Uganda? I think um, we have answered that. And um, please send details. Lati Shoaga says, please send details of the trainings for us to study. Definitely all, all the links to the training will be sent to everyone that participated in this training for them to see and participate. Um, Um, so thank you once again for listening. Um, we have the one last speaker, which is Ms. Ruth Nziri. She would tell us the culture of what Afrimash is. And then before we finally come to the end of the training, thank you once again for listening. And we appreciate your time. We do not take it for granted. And up next is Ms. Ruth Nziri.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the agent mental management program. I want to believe that we've learned a lot this afternoon and also that it's been valued for our time. So once again, I welcome us to Akamash Community. Um, as we are aware, Akamash is at the intersection of agriculture and technology, driven by a strong determination to solve the negative food trend using technology. And the Asian Network Management Program is one of um, the means we have come up with as solutions provided in the agri-tech industry. So briefly, I'll just run us through the Asian Management Program, Asian Network Program from the People Experience Department, what do we need to know? Because we would, um, by extension, be related with people on the field and managing people on the field. So what do we need to know about Aftermath Company Music? So first is we are a company with a vision. And our vision is um, one, we are valuable, two, we are sustainable, and three, we are profitable as an organization that seeks to provide premium value to customers. We are the contribution of a talented workforce. So in Aftermath, we are customer centric. Our focus is on ensuring that customers get the very best value they can get in such a way that they're always willing to come back again and again. And why is this our vision? We have a big picture in mind, and our big picture is to make agriculture convenient for everyone. Whether you're a farmer, whether you're an agriculture engineer, whether you're a middleman, Afrimash exists to ensure that the process is convenient for you at minimum stress. At minimum stress. So what are our core values? Every organization that is sustainable needs to have a separate core value that drives its vision, that shapes its culture, that determines the kind of business decisions that are taken at every point in time. For us, our core values are centered around excellence, efficiency, integrity, innovation, teamwork, self-improvement, passion, as we can see on this slide. But then, so that I want to assume that everybody understands what this means, or that everybody understands the context in which we are using this core value. So I'd like to break it down. Now, what about efficiency in Aftermath? For us, efficiency is being able to optimize resources to get the best possible result. Because we are human, we will not have every single thing we need at every point in time. While efficient people at every point in time, whatever resources based upon this program, we will be able to manage to get the best results. Excellence. At Aftermath, excellence is paying attention to details. Details matter. We don't want to do something and then we should watch it and then we have to go back and do it again. So we pay attention to details and we go the extra mile. Integrity. We are honest people, we are ethical people. We are people that when we say our yes, people have to go back and say, does it really, does it really mean a yes or a no? We are people that want to be taken for our word. And this is the kind of problem we want to see play out in the agent network of programs. We want to see our farmers trust us. We want to see our agents trust us. We want to help you also trust us. Next, self leadership. At that moment, we take ownership of our workload. No one has come and breathe on your neck or follow you back to back and say, okay, I need this, I need that. So, once you know, the people we interact with really trust us, that if this is the future we are given, if these are the tasks that have been assigned to us, we can run with it. So, take ownership of your job flow, working like the company is yours. Because really, we are the company. The next is innovation. Innovation for us is a continuous process that ensures that we are always embracing changes. What can we do to make this better? Fine, there is a structure we have put in place for the agent program. But as we begin to put this into practice, there are easier ways to do things, there are faster ways to do things. We want to like this to be brought to the table so that we can you know, evolve better as a team. The next for us is phasing. And that's the commitment to self improvement, the commitment to continuous improvement of our work processes to ensure that at every point in time we are doing better for our customers. Teamwork. Teamwork is a field that allows common people to attain common results. 
And so the success of this program depends on everyone involved. It depends on me, it depends on you, it depends on the agent, even up to the final, post, um, final consumers. So it's, the success is going to depend on how we are able to give our support guidance to our team members, how we are able to carry everyone along. It also includes mutual respect, working efficiently with others to ensure that work continues across every unit towards the achievement of the big picture. So the next um, core value for us is um, empathy. Empathy for us is reciprocal respect, reciprocal understanding, reciprocal consideration. We are looking out for others. We are walking a mile in their shoes before we reach conclusions. We are looking out for the company. We are looking out for our team members. We are looking out for our partners. We are looking out for our, for our agents. We are also looking out for our customers. And so before you take a decision, you ask yourself, okay, am I thinking with empathy in mind? Am I consulting my customers? Am I consulting my partners? And next is passion. Everybody has what he or she is passionate about. But an organization, we are driven by a focus on the big picture. What's the big picture for us? It's making like a positive component for everyone. And so when we are going the extra mile to ensure that our customers are satisfied, our farmers are satisfied, our vendors are satisfied, it's because we are thinking of the big picture at times. And lastly, but not many of the least, is the flexibility. We are open to modifying methods, we are open to embracing strategies that will make our work easier, that will make our work much more productive without emphasis on without compromising our core values. So these core values define our culture here at too much. And so when you have to make a decision to do this or to do that, and you have to talk and you're like, okay, what do I do? The question to ask yourself is this, is this in alignment with our core values? If it is, then yes, you could go ahead. But if it is not in alignment with our core values, then maybe you need to pause and you think the decision you want to make. So now, because um, we are field agents, we are going to be managing a whole lot of people, managing people, the most, you know, the most, if I may use the word, the most important of all resources. So we need some, some few tips on how to manage people on the field. So first is people management. We are going to be managing information, processes, trainings, different personalities of work, you know, managing database, managing documentation. So I will advise that um, if you decide to work with maybe a Google document, Google Sheet, Excel Sheet, we will document our processes, we will document our data, we will document our information so that we can manage it accordingly. People you will be working with, you need to have their names, you need to have their contact details, you need to have their locations. Then if you are taking them to certain training, you need to document the training. If they are getting feedback and reports from them, we need to document their reports. So this sums up people management that like you will be doing directly and indirectly. The next recruitment and onboarding. As an agent network manager, I guess we bring in LAs on board. As an LA, we bring in BDAs on board. As a BDA or even as an LA as well, we'll be bringing farmers on board. So how do you go about bringing these people? Formally or informally, or informally. You need to, be able to communicate the big picture to them. You need to, be able to communicate our unique selling points to them. And then at some point, I'm just training them on the product we have offered. I'm just putting them through the use of the app. So, recruitment and onboarding is one skill they are going to, of course, be deploying in this program. The next is communication. Communication is a two way street. It's not just about what you're saying or how you're saying it. But it's also about the other party understanding it. So your communication is not going to be complete unless we have the other party understanding. So you'll be communicating with the agents, you'll be communicating with the farmers who are our customers, you'll also be communicating with the company. So in a nutshell, you'll be functioning as liaison officers between the organization and everyone on the field. And so please, it is important that every form of communication but they are motivating, they are encouraging, they are giving updates, they are giving feedback, they are resolving customer issues based on your expression, or you are trying to document you know, complaints or differences. It's important that the parties involved in this communication line understand what it means to say so that appropriate actions can be taken accordingly. Next is delegation. As an agent network, delegating to lead agent, lead agent to delegating. BDA, uh, BDA. 
PDS by some person that gets to farmers or, or, or customers, or just basically do some level of interaction. And so this is important that as we work with different teams to get the job done, we understand their strengths, we understand their weaknesses, so that we can validate appropriately. If person A, if agent A is strong with A and weak with B, why I can't you build the person in B that at that point they get with A and vice versa? So please, it's important that we understand strengths and weaknesses to help us delegate accordingly. And last but not the least, evaluation. There will be clearly stated job descriptions and job expectations to enable everyone to understand what they are supposed to do. And so as um, okay, so they understand the metrics you'll be working with, and so that from time to time you can gauge your progress. Are you doing this for even what is the need for improvement? Is there a training need? And so that we can work accordingly. So it's important that for yourself you to evaluate your progress based on the metrics that are given to you, based on their um, based on the expectations that we have of you. And at the same time, for the people you'll be working with in your team, it's important that you to evaluate their progress. If they're dedicating A, B, C to them, at what level can you say that they're getting it done? At what level can you say that there's a need for training? At what level can you say, oh, this person might need to exit? So it's important that you document appropriately so that you can as well evaluate appropriately. And then, of course, when there is a need to follow up, we will do follow up as well. So, uh, as I said earlier, when we have a credit stated metrics, clearly stated expectations so that we can track our performance from time to time. And of course, we can split this into two. We can have a KPI sheet based on project goal. The KPI sheet is what is going to give back to our individual metrics, which are basically some of our performance indicators that we scored at the end of the month by supervisors. This will go on a long way to determine our progress report, as well as room for training when the need arises. So in our interactions on and off the field, there are certain questions that may not necessarily be in our jurisdiction. But because we are by extension Latin officers, we also need to provide a form of solution, a form of response. And so they have challenging addresses. If you have vendor related inquiries, the email address is there, customer inquiries, payment inquiries, partner inquiries, even email inquiries. So these are email addresses you can reach out to if you need certain clarifications as we got some of the other things that we do. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, we'll come to the end of this session. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. That was a that was a clear um, clear presentation. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for. Uh, Joining me once again, please. If you ask, if you still have any questions, you can either you raise that back to you. So, for some quick info, um, I've posted the WhatsApp link for those who are you know asked about um, the WhatsApp group, and you can join in. I've also posted a Google access um, a link to a Google form sheet for those who would like to you know register immediately to become an agent and. Uh, by this evening, we'll be sending the APKs to you so that you can familiarize yourself with how the app application works. Um, and um, yeah, those are the two things. So any questions so far um, that we can attend to before we close up, we are past time. Any questions, any contributions, any inquiries? Um, I'm typing my email address um, now. Should you have any further question, you can reach me directly via email. Okay, uh, Mr. Vascal, your hand is raised. Um, you can please unmute yourself. Oh, hold on. I think I don't have to do that here. Can you unmute yourself, Mr. Pascal? Mr. Vascal, can you unmute yourself? If you can, just type it in the chat and I would, I'm trying to figure out why he's not unmuted.
Okay, yes, I can hear you. You're still muted. Yes, Hello. Hello. Mr. Chukomek, I can hear you clearly, sir. Okay. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Please, um, mine is an appeal. I want to appeal to you to please uh, make this recording available to us because somebody like me, more than three quarters of the time, the network was really disturbing here and I was not, uh, you know, getting uh, most of the things that were said. But I know that if I have that uh, recording, I can sit down and go through it and understand it better and then be able to participate fully. Okay, then, yes, sir. Um, Continue, sir. Yeah, another, yes, we'll make it available. Yes, another thing is this. Um, you are saying that uh, people should register using the Google. Yes, sir. Uh, is it different from the earlier registration that we made to be, to be here? Is it a different registration? Um, no, not necessarily. I just wanted to capture the data of people that were in the presentation for today for specific um, documentation on our part. It's not really much different, basically. Okay, so where is the address? My own because email address? No, the, the Google, the Google address where we go and download and register. There is a Google form I just posted in the link, sir. So if you go through the chat, you see the Google form there. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't get that too. Because when my okay, network no problem. Went... I'm posting it again, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Mr. Vascal, we can go over to you now. Your voice, we can hear you, but not very clear, sir. Uh, hello. We can hear you, Mr. Vascal. Please go ahead. My question is, uh, can we have any document that we uh, say that really uh, uh, Mr. Vasca, there are people talking in your background, so we cannot hear you clearly. It is raining here in Uganda. But uh, what I was asking is that can we have a document that Can we have the document that? Mr. Vasca, maybe we should. Um, there is a lot of background noise. Maybe you should just put it in the chat and we would attend to you on that. Thank you. Um, any other further question? If there are none, um, let's see, yes, we will send to the email so that you can always access the link. Um, we have, we still have the email addresses of everybody, but... Um, we just wanted this form to be um, so that we can know, you know, the participant. But definitely, we will send their email to that. Um, I think, Mr. Mohammed Ibrahim, your hand is raised. You can unmute yourself and let's hear you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Ibrahim. Thank you. Well done for the good presentation. Thank I, you very much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, regarding 
registration, that's uh, the agent registration. I have all the requirements, but my account started uh, just a few months uh, around, it was this around December, which I made transaction more than a million now. But it's not up this month. That's the first question. Second question, okay, and uh, for me to have the statement of the account, I need to, the, to go to the bank, that's a uh, Monday for the request. Second issue is uh, I have some, uh, let me see, farmers or some agent under me because I've been purchasing and uh, discussing bids and so many other things regarding agri. Uh, agri let me call it in general. I have many sub agents in the northern state under me. How can I, although you shed more light on this, but is it possible for me at the time if I purchase a day to be dispatched to all these farmers at the time? All these agents at the time. Thank you. This is my question. Thank you. I have all the requirements regarding to be all the uh, to be an agent or distributor. But the as I said, the statement of the account that's which is not I have the bank uh, account for UB and that of first bank, but they are not up to six months as required by you. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, thank you, Mr. Mohammed. I'm very happy um, that you, you know, you have taken the time to do this. Can you please uh, mute so that I can hear a background noises from your end? Oh, thank you. So, um, first question, I will go with the second one. Yes, 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 and yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Great, so you have agents under you. And in terms of delivery, yes, we can deliver everything that you need. One, two, um, since you already have agents, right? If there are up to 50 of them, it simply that qualifies you to be an LA. And in the meantime, I would have you know that we'll have an agent network manager that will be based in the North. Should in the event that you, know, you need things, he will be the point man. He'll be resuming, you know, before this month end and building up a network. So we would give him your contact to contact you and see how, you know, you can build up that your network and expand it under the Aftermath banner, right? Then for the um, account um, statement, um, two things. You can either upload what you have at the moment or you can still go to the bank, you know, we are always here. And if you can get those six months worth of statement, and upload it is still fine. What either one works for us at this at the end. We just want to be sure that you know, if someone registered under our network, you know, have the um, a financial footprint as to speak. You know, as you are well aware, this is a um, a deal of trust, and so these are the um, trust building blocks that we are trying to uh, embark on. So, and do not you don't need to worry about um, delivery because I mean. As an agent, it's going to be a problem when farmers order from you and they are not able to get their product and it, you know, it looks bad for you, for those farmers. So we can assure you that when we started this agent network project, we have planned you know, for every eventuality. And so even if you have 500 orders, 1,000 orders, Mr. Mohammed, I can confidently say that you should bring it and we will deliver it. You have no need to be afraid. Um, Mr. Sorry, Galazi AO2S. I'm so sorry. Uh, your name is showing, so you can unmute and you know ask your question. Yes. Good evening, but your network is not um, very good. Hello. Hello, we can hear you, but your network is not strong. Hello. Hello, can you hear us? Yes, I am in transit. Oh, it is very yes. faint here. Yeah, we can't hear you My clearly. Very faint. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, I know you can, but since you're in transit, the network is going to be affecting. So okay. maybe if you put, if you put, in... 
just put your question in the chat box because we can't hear you clearly and definitely someone will attend to you. Mr. Bafa Haruna, please. Um, your hand is up. Um, you can ask your question and unmute yourself. Okay, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening, Haruna. Uh, thank you, sir. The question I have is that um, most of, you know that most of, uh, like me, I have a uh, business account and the personal account. So yes. which, which, which statement do you want the, uh, for the any, business anyone, or personal account? Anyone is fine. The business would be great. Okay, thank you very much, sir. That's it. All right, thank you so much, yes. Mr. Adebite Moses, please, you can unmute yourself and ask your question, sir. Mr. Mr. Moses, yes, you, yes, you are putting your ear to the screen. You can unmute and ask your question, sir. Mr. Moses, you have to unmute so that we can hear you. We cannot hear you because you are muted. Okay, okay thank you. Is that okay, okay now? Yes, very thank okay. You. We can hear you. All right, it's okay. I'm very sorry for joining late. I was just coming from somewhere. No problem, sir. Thank you. So what is your question, sir? Your hands were was raised. Um, I want... What is your question, sir? We are here for you, sir. All right. Uh... To become an agent, okay. I want to know the details that uh, that are involved. Okay. So, so um, after this training, when we go, right. we'll be sending the manuals for all that was said, and so you all can right. read it up for yourself on how to become an agent. What kind of agent do you want to be? Um, All right. The requirements for being either a BDA or an LA so far. All right. So sorry that you did not join in, but we had an interesting time. And so we'll send the model and you can read it for yourself, sir. All right. I'm grateful. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. But is the meeting still continue or it has ended? Um, it will be ended shortly. We are way over time. And so it will be ending shortly. All but right. Regardless. On the chat box, uh, my email address is there. Um, okay. We have a Google link sheet there. And so okay. if you need to um, ask anything that you're not clear, you can send me an email and All right. respond to you as quickly as possible. All right, thank you very much. I am putting my, my email address on the chat now, so you can just see it and save it and send me an email. All right, thank you. Hello, All sir. Right. I can no, hear sir. you. Yes, Mr. Chikwemeka, we can hear you. Yes, before we before you close, I would like to ask you whether there is an agent in Nsoka. Okay, at the, an agent um, in Nsoka, um, not at the moment, but you can be our agent in Nsoka once you are registered on our platform. Yes, I've already indicated interest, and I have filled the first form, and I've okay. indicated interest. Okay, great. Okay, great, sir. So um, this evening, we'll do a test run. Um, for all participants in this training, we'll send the um, mobile application so that you can see what it is. You can register your interest. And um, if you have any challenge, um, we would, we would um, together work on it. So whatever happens, Mr. Chukwe Meka, I can also be reached via email and you can quickly send me an email. Okay. Or, and Hello. then, um, can, Mr. Chukwe Meka, hold on, hold on, please. <laughs> Mr. Chukwe Meka, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Great. There is also a WhatsApp link. Do you have access to it? Did you see it on the chat? So I'm, I'm putting it again on the chat. So if you cannot reach me via email or the response time is um, too, taking too long, you can reach, you can join this WhatsApp group. I just put a link on the WhatsApp group and I will attend quickly, easily, conveniently to you on the WhatsApp. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. After. And then um, for Galazi A02, she said, um, is there an agent here in Portacourt? Um, no, ma, at the moment, you will be our agent in Portacourt, ma, when you are registered on our network. Hello, can I speak now? Oh, yes, please do go ahead. So sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, I already filled the form online. Okay. Am I going to fill another form again? So, you know, um, the form we just sent now, right, is just okay. to gather the data of the participants of this training for documentation okay. purpose, right? The other form okay. you got that, right, we already have that information right and so um the idea is with this new data now we can then begin to so if you look it's quite different on the state of interest on this new form you can put that you would like to be the agent or the bda or the la for so -so -so town so, so place that way okay. i can then but, but on the other one it was just maybe on the state level where you would like to be but now this new form on that state of interest just put the actual um, location that you would like to be an agent of, okay. either as a VDA or as an LA, and then I will take it up from there. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, you're much welcome, sir. Mr. Haruna, um, you are going to be our agent in Bauchi, sir. Comfort Mark, yes, you can go ahead, please. Comfort Mark. So for everyone asking, okay, Jigawa, Bauchi, the reason why we had this training, right? Uh, is there an agent in Okay, for people that have asked for Jigawa, for Portacot, let us state that the reason why we had this training was because everyone here has indicated an interest to be an agent. And so you will be the agent in these locations that you are saying, either in Jigawa, in Portacot, in Bauchi. And so for now, we do not have agents. Do you have an agent in Uganda? Vasca, we do not, where you are going to be our agent in Uganda going forward. And we look forward to a wonderful partnership, Mr. Vascal. Okay, everyone, um, we are way past time. And um, uh, is there an agent in Delta State, Jackson Farm? Um, I believe for Delta State, you are going to be our aid, Afrimash's agent in Delta State. Taiwo Ibrahim, I believe that there are agents in Ibadan Yes, and but that does not mean that Ibado is saturated as there are still many more farm extensions and farm settlements that agents have not been able to penetrate. So even if you are based in Ibado, you can still be an agent to those farms, you know. Dr. Victor says, well, how about Saraba State, sir? Like I stated earlier, sir, for every state that is being mentioned, the reason why we are expanding the agent network program and we have you for this training is to have agents in those places and you will be Afrimash's agent. Um, so for Taraba State, sir, once you fill this form now and which possible uh, LA or BDAs, we would have an agent manager in place before the end of the month runs out to coordinate for the different regions for the north and for the southwest and possibly for um, for the east going forward. So we will do all we can to ensure that every agent has the capacity and the capabilities to operate without friction or problems. How about Akwai Bomb State? Um, how about the same thing goes, you will be our agent in um, Akwai Bomb State. Um, Thank you so much, everyone. Um, 
it was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to, to get all your questions, have you come in, listen to us. And um, going forward, we would have a um, wonderful partnership. We would have good things and, you know, spread the brand and ensure that agriculture is made conveniently for everyone in Nigeria. Thank you so much for your time. We are very grateful and have a lovely, lovely 